Margin at Duckett's Dot comes about almost two and a half, about two and uh, three eighths inch. Um, this toe is obviously cut back because of having a longer toe, things like that. Then you come all the way to the widest point of the frog is at two and a half inches. So you can see the foot wants to be balanced, but back here. And this heel, even though I did, you know, already start cleaning out my bars, but the end of the heel was right here. You can kind of see the end. And that's right at two inches. So it's a half an inch off from where the foot should be. So there's more foot in um, the front than there is in the back. Therefore, it's not causing any balance. Then if you're looking at the balance here, if I go to right where the end of that heel is, just where the heel is, we have, <clears throat> we have two inches on this side. And then if I go to that same point where that heel is, I have two and a quarter inches on the other side. And that's the reason why this horse has a really bad quarter crack is this entire inside wall is super high and his horn is so strong and it's such a good quality hoof that it's blowing out the weakest point, which of course is where the hoof starts at the corner of the band. So. so if you look at this foot, actually come over here, just like that, you can see that he kind of has this flare and he's pinched his heels that his coronet band wants to come over this side of the foot because of the way that he moves. And so it has this flare here because it's so long and it's just getting so stressed, but then it, at the same time it's popping right here, which is where his, his quarter crack is, because that's where all of his weight is actually coming down. You can see him coming down from his leg. This is where he puts all of his weight and it's been so high that he's sheared. So you can see this coronet band low and this corner that comes up and then his heels are pinched in the back and they're off just because he's had a chronic high from this point all the way back has chronically been high. So it's completely shifting the coronet band. You can see the coronet band completely is at this angle. Doesn't seem that bad, but this is where it should be at, about a quarter inch, which is a big deal when you're talking about here, a quarter inch going all the way up the leg is going to be a big deal. Does it have, I'm going to check my foot. So horses that have heels that are underrun are pretty much standing like this at all times, right? They're always saying that they have that cliff at the end. So then they sit and they stand like this. And what it does is it puts all this stress, I can feel it just directly in my heel bone. And it, it's all this pressure right here on my heel bone. And that hurts, I actually have very little pressure on my actual foot. And that's what happens when horses have underrun heels. If I actually bring it where I actually go into the center mass of my foot, now I'm standing and now I have even pressure on my balls of my feet and I feel a, a distribution of pressure on my heel. I don't feel this jarring like contact right here. Everything feels like I'm standing on my foot. Now I just have a higher heel. So the same thing goes for if I want, if a horse has, this is the center of rotation is, is here on my foot, right? Is the balls of your feet. So if this horse, if I want this horse to come a little bit more, this is too low of a heel, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away the toe from here to here, this height that's there, and take that away. And then all of a sudden the horse will come here. And same thing if I have a horse that's coming here that is sitting all the way super high, has a super high heel and he's buckling forward. I'm gonna take that foot down and I'm gonna allow it to kind of sit here so then I can sit and balance right in between. This is that center point is right there. So I trim this heel. And you, I like that I left it like this because the frog's high. I trim this heel from here to here, and that's going to rock that foot back a little bit. If I trim the foot from here to here, it's going to rock the foot forward a bit. So that's the, the point that we can kind of go forward and backwards. And then underneath this foot, it's pretty simple. You have straight down the middle, and then this straight down the middle. If this is too high, it's going to rock the foot this way and rock the foot that way. We want the foot to be normal from the coronet band, and sadly, his coronet band is completely misshapen and he has a curve because of the constant trauma. You can see here actually really well, you can see how all of his fibers, everything's gone this way. So his fibers are coming down here and then all of a sudden they start going this way. So they're being pushed that way. And that's why this entire coronet band is bending with it. So the coronet band is where the fibers come from, period. So where the coronet band is straight, the fibers will come down straight. Where the coronet band, where those fibers are being pulled, it'll pull that coronet band so the fibers are going forward, where they should be going straight down. So, 